Hi everyone, I'm Mok. I'm a final year Monash Medical Bioscience student, and here is my HPOPM internship vlog. I will fetch my friends Sun Hao along the way, and normally we'll reach the hospital around 7.50 am. HPOPM was founded in 2019 as a teaching hospital affiliated with UPM with the mission of providing high-quality medical services and facilities involving a wide range of medical specialties and sub-specialties. It also serves as a training and education centre for medical students and professionals. HPOPM introduced a rapid and focused stroke treatment by serving as the National Centre for Stroke Networks. It was known to be the first in Malaysia, Asia and world that established the Regional Emergency Stroke Quick Response Unit with Stroke Resource Bay and Stroke Trivalizes Bay. I was also located to Pathology and Medical Microbiology Labs, which is located at level 2. I was rotated between 7 units, which are specimen receiving counter, hematology, histopathology, cytopathology, transfusion medical unit, chemical pathology, and bacteriology. In the first week, I was located in hematology unit. I learned to receive samples, create orders, and run FBC tests using SysMed hematology analyzer. I also learned to interpret and release results. Besides, I've also practiced blood smear for differential count, and performed GSXPD tests to detect the presence of GSXPD. In the second week, I entered culture and learned to check, label, sort, and distribute samples for analysis. In week three, I entered histopathology unit. I learned to process tissue and bed tissue with paraffin wax using tissue embedder, trimming, sectioning, and observing tissue crossing. In the fourth week, I joined cytopathology unit. I learned to process gynecological cytology such as pet smear and pet tags. And I observe auto staining process. I have also been given the opportunity to observe and assist in FNAC by smearing and staining for microscopic screening. And this is what we found. In week 6, I entered the chemical pathology unit. I learned to handle specimens and to prepare specimens for analysis. And this clip of video it shows urine analysis. It uses COVAS light for microscopic an analysis of urine. And this is one of the abnormal results. I also studied about a bot analyzing C1 series machine, which are used for immunoassay and biochemistry tests, as well as learning to interpret the result. I have also performed QC on an osmometer analyzer for an osmolarity test. In week 7, I entered the microbiology unit and was allocated to the bacteriology section. I practiced gram staining and performed microscopic viewing for gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Also, I have observed culturing bacteria on the plate, antimicrobial susceptibility tests, as well as learning to observe the plates. I have also joined a case study section about Optimia neonaturals. It was informative and I really enjoyed it as it was a learning opportunity for us to learn and explore. While last in Transfusion Medical Unit, I have learned to perform EBO and RGD grouping, SH and Crossmatch. The internship is definitely a milestone in my life as it is my first professional job. One of the most valuable aspects of my internships was being able to complete all the tasks assigned while at the same time acquiring new lab skills and knowledge. The internship has also knowledge of positive mindset and improved my soft skills, such as teamwork, problem solving, time management, communications, and being more attentive to the details, which grew me to be a more well-rounded individual. Another achievement were the networking opportunities, where I have the challenges to network with professionals such as doctors and medical lab technologies to gain guidance and insights from them. And not to forget, the hands-on experience I gained at HPOPM was eye-opening and invaluable. However, there were also some challenges during my internship. First was the knowledge gaps between what I learned in Monash and what I did during the internship. This is because in Monash, I learned more about the scientific theory and research. While in internships, it was more about the clinical diagnostic tests and analytical machines, which I found to be slightly more adjusted. And to elevate this issue, I took the initiative to learn all the analytical machines and lab protocols from the ground up. I struggled at first, but thankfully to my friendly mentors and supervisors who guided me throughout the process. Secondly, I found it difficult to perform certain tasks. One of them was to identify and differentiate specific cells under microscopes, 
I believe this is due to lack of experience and training. Thus, I always seek for help from my mentors or supervisors and to open up to knowledge as well as learning opportunities. Thirdly, sometimes I felt quite overwhelmed dealing with high amount samples during peak hours, and it was difficult to adapt into a multitasking and fast-paced environment. To overcome this, I learned to prioritize tasks, be more organized, manage my time well, and work more efficiently. These internships has definitely improved my mindset and skill in a way that develops a positive and strong analytical mind, curious about knowledge, and always seeking for growth, which prepare me for my future workforce. Throughout this internship, I've also learned ways to enhance my employability, such as building my professional networks by connecting with professionals, creating a strong resume, gaining more experience, and always being open to learning. Not only that, it is also important to take the opportunities to attend online courses from online platforms such as Coursera, LinkedIn Learning, and practice interviewing. And most importantly, always be clear about my uh, career goals and take some time to find out what I want to achieve in my career and what kind of experience I'm looking forward to. However, to be honest, I think working as a medical lab scientist is not what I really want to do for a living because I don't feel any excitement as it involves lots of repetitive work and isolations. Another big reason is that I love engage with people. I love discussions, meetings, ideas, uh, and environments where everyone is working together on the same project. My supervisors even encourage me to work for corporate sites in healthcare industry, such as marketing, sales, product, HR, etc. As, as we found out, that these jobs are more aligned with my personalities. In conclusions, my internships at HPUPM was a truly enriching experience. I am grateful for the opportunities to work with such a fantastic organizations and gain valuable skills and knowledge that uh, will definitely enhance my employability. And the internships has allowed me to grow both uh, professionally and personally. And I will always be thankful uh, for all the guidance from colleagues, uh, supervisor, mentors, and also grateful for the experience. My internship has given me a glimpse into the futures and has reinforced my belief to always be curious about my knowledge and step up of my comfort zones. I'm eager to see what my future holds and I'm, I am confident that the experience I gain at HPOPM will help me in my future endeavors.